So I recently had to recreate the waves texture from Blender in Houdini Vops. It was a bit of an awkward process, but I used some tips and tricks along the way that I think you might find handy. I'm Kev Ryan, and here we go. So Blender has this super handy wave texture that puts these stripes along our object. And we can increase the scale of these. We can distort them. We can add detail to those distortions. We can scale that detail. We can rough up that detail. And we can offset the bands as well to get them to move across the object. We can also get further control by putting in a mapping node into the vector input and then using a texture coordinate. And with that, we can rotate them. So these are the things we're going to try to recreate in Vops and Houdini. So here we go. Whoa. So the first thing you want to do in Houdini is to create a point fop and set the display flag and dive in. Now, what we want, first of all, is to get a gradient running across our object. And we're going to do that using the relative to bounding box. Connect P to P, delta to CD. And you'll see now that our object has colors that represent each side of the bounding box. So if you were to split up the channels of this vector with a vector to float, you should see that the X input is actually corresponding to the X axis, similar for the Y and similar for the Z. But we're going to focus on the X axis. So now that we have a gradient, we need to put down a modulo. So a modulo is a math operation that finds the remainder of when one number is divided by another. So that might not seem all that useful, but you'll see its effect now when we turn down this divisor here. We actually begin to get bands across our object. So much so that if we actually had it as 0.1, we'd actually get 10 bands running across our object. So I would prefer to be able to input the number of bands that I want. So I'm going to create a divide constant set the constant to one plug that in there and then i'm going to promote this parameter by middle clicking and selecting promote parameter then i'm going to double click here and change the name of this input to bands bands now if we're at this top level we have this input here and if we set it to one we're back to where we were However, if we increase this, you'll see that we start getting our bands. But you'll see that they're getting dimmer as they go along. But there's an easy fix for that. All you need to do is multiply the output of the modulo by this band's input. Now they're back to their full brightness. You'll also notice that these bands are going from black to white. And we can change that by putting in a ramp parameter after our multiply. And then if we go back to the top level, we can set the shape of this gradient with this ramp here. And here we go. That's essentially the initial output of the wave texture. However, we want to distort it now. And the way we do that is by adding in a noise to this position input before it gets into the relative bounding box. So we're going to do that with an AA noise. And then we add this to our position. And you'll see already the result taking effect. So I want to control this from the top level. So if I right click on my AA noise and go down to VEX and VOP options and then create input parameters, you'll see all of the options that run our noise here at the top level. We have essentially got our distortion, uh, the distortion scale, and a bit of an offset if we want for the noise at least. And then we also have some roughness too. Now, if you wanted to offset these bands, we just go into our point fop and throw in an add after this vector to float. And then also promote this parameter with a middle click and give it a name. Tidy it up as you go. And you'll see that we are now offsetting our bands. Then if you want one last further piece of control, we can add in a transform matrix to our initial position. And what that will allow us to do is to move about our bands as well and also rotate them. And you can promote these parameters as well. And there you go. That was easy, wasn't it? 
not a bother. Right, look, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.